Looks like we're running out of room. A lot of people loved Edward. Why aren't you on that plane to Arizona, young lady? Well, guess. I can't. I'm avoiding stress. Well, first of all, you happen to be in my hospital. I'd like to think I can be of some help to you. And second of all, I do have a mild interest in the outcome of your trial. Therefore, I'm postponing my trip. And if they didn't love him, they respected him. The church is going to be crowded for the funeral tomorrow, too. As it should be. I'm really sorry to interrupt, but the caterer is driving me bonkers. Why? What's wrong? Well, she wants to know if you want the yams whole or sliced. Oh, I didn't arrange the dinner. You're going to have to ask Tracy about that one. I would if I could find her. He's gone, Alan. First mother, then you. And now, Daddy. How am I going to do this alone? Mom, why are we doing this big Thanksgiving dinner thing anyway? I mean, nobody feels like celebrating. My grandfather's not even buried yet. Well, I agree, but Tracy is insistent. And the state that she is in, I'm not about to argue. As a quartermain? On Thanksgiving? Or any other day, for that matter. Actually, it's a very well-intentioned gesture. She wants everything to be perfect in honor of Edward. That's because Mr. Q loved Thanksgiving, even though it always ended in disaster. I think he would appreciate us getting it right for once. Well, then can we start with solving the potato crisis? Ah, yes. Whole or sliced? What? Uh, sliced? Uh -huh. Sliced it is. You want to deliver that message, or do you need help? Well, I wouldn't mind the assist. This lady is almost scarier than Cook was. This is <laughs> You know, I, I read a report this morning about the Austrian merger. Oh, did you? Yeah, well, you know, ELQ stands to make a pretty penny there. Yes, we do. You know, the foreign markets are so volatile, it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of stimulating trying to predict how they'll react to our offers. You know, AJ, I am, I am pleased that you are so well informed, and I certainly want you to be conversant with all aspects of ELQ business. your great-grandmother, Lila, and your great-grandfather, Edward, huh? Mm. So, you've been in hiding this whole time? Where? Oh, come on, I can't reveal all my secrets. You know, Mom called and told me about Jason. That's when I came home. I know. It's terrible. I just found out about it when I heard about Edward. Mm -hmm. Finding out that I was alive would probably be one update too many, so. Well, I am so happy that you saved the best news for last. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to tell me. What have, what have you been up to? Fill me in. Oh, Sky, you know what? That's uh, a big story for another time. Yeah, you're right. I, I know. This this day is about Edward. I still can't believe it. Yeah, me either. This house feels so empty already. Did you get a chance to say goodbye to him? By the time Tracy let me upstairs, he... I, I, don't ask. I, he was already gone. If I'd known when I left a year ago that that was going to be the last time I saw him. I... The jet is ready for you, and the pilot has been given instructions to take you anywhere you say with no questions asked. Thank you. Promise me one thing. You won't be a stranger. Please bring Lila Ray. No problem. 
first I kept one of my promises. I brought Lila Ray here. You're so proud. I mean, you're beaming. Oh, she is already a way better person than I ever was. But I'm trying to be a good mother, I really am. Uh, that's why I'm sticking around. For Michael. I want the chance to be a father to him. And I'm gonna get it. I'm so glad you're home. I booked a flight as soon as I got your call. Come here. I can't. I can't believe he's gone. I know, it doesn't seem possible. I mean, I knew he's getting older and everything, but I just, I guess I just convinced myself that he would always be here. He was my rock. Nothing ever seemed, I don't know, real unless he gave it his seal of approval. Well, the deed is done. Good job, both of you. Well, if I didn't know better, I think you might have meant that. You don't know me as well as you think you do, dear. I know that this hasn't been easy for you, and I've been a large part of that. But for some reason, this, uh, <laughs> this scoundrel makes you happy, and that makes me happy. Thank you, Dad. He was the glue that held the family together. What's going to become of us? We're quartermates. We'll survive. We always do. Without Daddy? We've got you. You. The toughest cue of them all. Oh, I don't feel tough. Come on. Let's go up to the house. Face the rest of them. You go. I, uh, I want a little more time. I'm okay. You go. I love you too. <laughs> oh, Scott! Monica, hello. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me she was coming? Well, actually, I didn't know who was going to be able to make it. People all over the world, and with weather and the holidays, and. And who was that? <laughs> Lila Ray, I would like you to meet. Your grandmother, Monica. Hi. Hi. Now, do you remember what we talked about? Thank you. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, you are just beautiful. <laughs> just beautiful. And you have really just made my day. Ah. <laughs> uh. I know that we haven't always seen eye to eye. That's an understatement. <clears throat> but I'm glad you're here. And I know that Edward and Alan would be too. Thank you, Monica. This is my family and it's Lila Ray's too. In fact, I would love to show her around the grounds if I may. Absolutely. It's really something I wanted to see. Come on. Be my guest. Oh, and we may have lost Edward, I know but we gained you, and that makes the pain a little more manageable. Speak for yourself. Welcome home. We'll catch up later. Skye, she's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Just trying to ease her into the family gently. Get out while you still can. Yeah. And Come on, Lathery, let's go. Play nice, you two. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I couldn't miss Grandfather's favorite holiday. <laughs> Why not? You missed everything else. Oh, you're <sighs> one to talk, Junior. Did you bring Brooklyn? 
No, no, she's on tour right now. Lois always travels with her. Oh, of course. Now, Dylan would have been here, but he's shooting a film in the Far East. So, just leaves me. Lucky us. Grandfather must be rolling over in the grave. And he's not even buried yet. Uh, this is not the time or the place, fellas. Have you seen your mother? Yes. She needed some time alone. Of the family she grew up with, she's the only one left. They're all gone. There's no one left but me to remember the, uh, Christmases in Oyster Bay. Trip to England where I pushed Alan in the lake and Mother pushed me in after. Daddy teaching me how to drive. Then backing the car into the breakfast room wall. Nobody but me to remember what made us laugh, what made us cry, what we fought about. My family. <sighs> the four of us. <laughs> now it's just me. <sighs> oh. Is a little privacy too much to ask right now? I'm sorry. I didn't know anybody would be in here. I'm very sorry about Edward. I miss him very much. Yes, I bet you will. I saw Ned up at the house. Really? I guess there's a lot of unexpected arrivals today. I wanted Lila to know what the people have been important to me. Like the woman you were named after. Come here, sweetie. I want to show you something. Do you see what this says right here? That's Lila Quartermain. Beautiful woman, inside and out, just like you. Do you really think that's appropriate? You weren't related to any of them. Alan and Edward loved their family, and I was very blessed to be a part of it. Blood does not make a family. Love does. Mom's right. Uh, this isn't the time or the place. <sighs> so what do you say, Ned? Buddy? Cousin? Truce? Seriously? You think you can show up after all these years and just erase everything you've done? Monica, I just want to apologize for just not making more of an effort to see Grandfather. Look, we have all chosen different paths, but the bottom line is we are family. Mm -hmm. And some of us regard the family more than others. Grandfather, modesty is not one of the virtues you stressed when you trade me for the corporate world. You told me to believe in myself, to grab the opportunities, to take risks. Now, your advice has never failed me, has it? Of course not. Then why should it fail me applied to this? We can make this work. I have absolute faith and trust in that. If there was ever a time for us to come together, it is right now. I know it would mean a lot to Edward if his grandsons got along. You expect my son to get along with the man that single-handedly killed my father? I told you we're gonna kill Daddy, and you did. Congratulations, a new low. Tracy, what in God's name are you talking about? I had nothing to do with grandfather's death. You were the last one in his room. I was the last one in the room, Tracy. And by the time you allowed AJ to go in, it was too late. There you go again, defending the son who belongs in jail. Don't be ridiculous. Tracy, I understand that you need somebody to blame. Don't patronize my mother. Thank you, Ned. Oh, there's Ned, always considerate of his mother's needs. Did you hear about the pathogen scare? Oh, you are not going to throw that in his face now. Well, I just thought with the town being moments away from death, it might have raided a, I don't know, a phone call? Miss Skye? Oh. And Lila Ray. Alice. Oh, oh, I trust you're going to stay for Thanksgiving dinner? Absolutely not. 
put you in charge. It's common sense, Monica. She's not a quarter main. Well, Dad and Grandfather disagreed. And they're not here. Are they? Lila Ray and I'll be at the Metro. Oh, Ma, uh, no, no, no. You are guests and you are family. You'll be staying here. Good. I second that. She is Proud not welcome to here, Monica. Yeah. This is my She's house. Oh, oh my goodness, would you just uh, uh, tattoo that on your head? Why did you come back? Why did you come back? Mommy, is everything okay? Oh, yes, my darling. Uh, welcome to the family. You know what? This is the I suppose we should be grateful. Oh, really? For Just what? For today. Because we only have to endure one of your criminal sons today. I think you could use an aspirin. And mommy could use an aspirin. No, I'm sure. Oh, no, I think she's just bitter because her other son decided he didn't want to be Dylan has a career. Yeah, a legitimate. Hey. Hey. Happy Thanksgiving, Alice? Well, not so happy. You'd think they'd quit fighting just for one minute, just for Mr. Q. I just graduated high school. I don't really have anything to contribute. Of course you do. You're a bright young man, and, and uh, you're a fast learner. You have instincts, and you're not afraid. Those things will carry you far in this life. Oh, here, look, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told my father. I don't want any special treatment. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry. I can't guarantee that because you're family, and that's a built-in special treatment. But it also brings burdens of responsibility, and expectations but you're coming aboard it just means everything to me hey what are you doing aren't we here for great grandfather yes Yes, and why don't we start acting like it? Oh, Edward. You thought of everything. Oh, excuse me. Do you work here? Can you tell me where I can get an ass? Heather? Well, well. Look what the cat did. What is this? Edward was my ex-husband. It may have been brief, but I it don't mean to that. Me. I mean, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Ferncliff. How did you get out? I'm resourceful. You should remember that, Blaze. Wasn't that Luke's little pet name for you? That was a long time ago. So you're Blaze, and Anna's Slim, and I was always just plain Heather. Why didn't I merit a nickname from Luke? I don't know. I guess you'll have to ask him. In fact, why don't you go call him right now, and I'm going to go join the others. What? So you can call the men in the white coats? I don't think so. Nobody's going anywhere. Are you forgetting how much family meant to Edward? I want to bring us all together, especially today. I think we owe it to his memory to make him proud of us. My son's right. Thank you for reminding us what this day is supposed to be. We can do this. No, we will do this. We will make this the Thanksgiving grandfather always wanted. I'm getting out of here now. Hey, guess what? 
You get to come with me. No, 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 she's not. Let her go. None of you make a move in this direction. Not if you want to see Sky alive. Well, what? Let Sky go and just walk away. I swear we will not follow you. Right. Like I'm going to trust a quarter main. Goodbye, all. Gobble, gobble. <sighs> Nice. Guess it's a traditional Q Thanksgiving after all. Where is she? Oh, follow the sound of the music. Get in there with her. Uh, she's in there with her butts from Ferncliff. No, no, come on. She came to. Yes, we heard that. Fought like the devil. It's an apt description. Stephen Lars, I thought you'd want to spend Thanksgiving with your mother. Get that lunatic out of here! No, oh, I'm fine. Really, I am. Everything's gonna be okay. Just mm, let me go. I want fine. to celebrate with family. Bye-bye. Um, so that just happened. Uh, wow. I li listen, I'm sorry about when we were fighting when you first came in, and now this craziness. I mean, we really know how to kick off the festivities, don't we? Uh, well, you guys definitely know how to keep things interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, that's, that's one way to put it. Look, I really like what you said about family and everything. I'm just, I'm happy you're here, son. Uh, look, AJ, um, I'm glad you're back and everything, but I, I, I still barely know you. It's not like we can bond overnight. No, I, no, I, know, I know that. I, has somebody been talking to you about me, or...? No. Like who? Well, that was interesting. Ranks pretty high in terms of Thanksgiving disasters. Yeah, I think it beats the year the dog ate the dinner. Hey, do you guys remember the year that I snuck into the kitchen because I wanted a snack? And Cook got so upset that she destroyed the entire meal? Here. <laughs> that really oh, happened? That one. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. 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 Must have been some pretty crappy holidays. Actually, they were wonderful. Because Daddy was presiding. Yes. Edward always loved Thanksgiving. He felt it brought the family together. I know we all have our favorite memories. Even me? Even you. Excessive. And I don't intend to restrict myself to chocolates. Hmm? When I saw you at that garden party, in your dress as blue as the summer sky, I loved you then, but never as much as I love you now. I love you too. It was different in my day. We knew our roles. I was the man and she was the woman, and that was that. You have a terrible history with women. Tracy, when will you learn that you deserve so much more than what that man has to offer? Thank you, Danny. <laughs> what starts small can become much, much bigger. Hey, hey, <laughs> Eddie, me. Who said I wanted your rock and roll alter ego signature? I dear. Sleep tight. Night, son. Good night, Father. Daddy. I love you too. To Edward Quartermain, there will never be another one like him. Are you? Oh. No. No, no, no! Uh, those guys were kidding me. They said Heather put up a fight. Dinner's completely ruined, Alice! Alice! Excuse me. 
to meet you today. Yes, Miss Tracy, and don't shoot the messenger. I'm not gonna make promises I can't keep. Spit it out! Okay, I called the pizza parlor. Good. But it's closed for renovations. Oh. Closed? They're the only ones that stay open on Thanksgiving. We can salvage this. Some of the plates are still partially intact. What's this? Yams. Yams. We are not eating off the floor. This meal was supposed to be perfect for Daddy, and now it's the worst Thanksgiving ever. Just hold your horses, I'll get there. I know something the quartermains don't know. 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 I don't know why I'm surprised this day always ends in disaster. Maybe that's how we honor grandfather, by keeping the tradition alive. Well, I'm starving. Me too. All right, should we call a neighboring town? I mean, there's got to be someplace oh. open. They won't deliver here. AJ will pick it up. Oh, where did those come from? I have no idea. Let's eat. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Wait. What did Daddy always say? First we sing, and then we eat. First, 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 first we sing, sing and then, then we eat. eat. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He hastens and chastens his will to make known. The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing. Sing praises to his name. He forgets not his own. What would you say if I ask you to uh, renew our commitments to each other? Of course I will, dear. <laughs>